Hey, it's Doug McGuff with Body by Science, Ultimate Exercise and DrMcGuff.com. Today I would like to discuss one of the actions that you can take as an individual to mitigate your risk against COVID-19. And the first thing that I'm naturally going to mention is performing high intensity exercise. Performing high intensity work with skeletal muscle releases endocrine chemicals that we term myokines. These are cytokine chemicals that are released from skeletal muscle and they have both autocrine, paracrine, and endocrine effects. Autocrine means effects that happen within the tissue itself, so direct effects on skeletal muscle. Paracrine means effects on nearby tissue, such as the effect of skeletal muscle on surrounding bone. And then finally, endocrine effect means the effect of these myokines on distant tissues like the liver, kidney, brain, and heart. All of these are very important effects. They're important because myokines are cytokines that are anti-inflammatory in nature. This is very important. Myokines oppose the inflammation created by the inflammatory cytokines. These inflammatory cytokines are what are largely responsible for cytokine storm and an inappropriate immunologic response to an infectious threat such as COVID-19. The anti-inflammatory effect of myokines is both related to their intrinsic anti-inflammatory effect as well as receptor regulation. Let me explain. Multiple myokines have an intrinsic anti-inflammatory effect, meaning when they are released, the tissues that they signal upon actually produce an anti-inflammatory effect. However, there are some myokines that are actually inflammatory cytokines, but their release is very context dependent. For instance, interleukin-6 released during hard skeletal work is a known inflammatory cytokine, but it's released in a very sharp and peaky way, meaning that it has about a 10 thousand fold higher concentration than its baseline secretion. When that happens, that overwhelms interleukin-6 receptors in a way where the receptors down regulate. So that during the more chronic baseline secretion of interleukin-6, which could be elevated in a systemic inflammatory state, there are few receptors for it to act upon. So myokines act both by their intrinsic anti-inflammatory effect but also by down-regulating receptors for inflammatory cytokines. Myokines also augment free fatty acid mobilization from fat stores. This is important because stored fat is a major storage depot for the precursors of the inflammatory cytokines involved with an inappropriate immune response in a cytokine storm. Further, there are myokines that signal for glucose mobilization. So when you're mobilizing large amounts of glucose out of the skeletal muscle and out of the liver, that is going to improve insulin sensitivity and decrease the serum insulin levels in the body, which have a significant anti-inflammatory effect. It's very important that you partake of high intensity exercise that is going to cause secretion of these anti-inflammatory myokines. It's one of the most protective things that you can do in my opinion. HIIT facilities, like Ultimate Exercise, are uniquely positioned to maximize myokines in your physiologic environment. And you can do it within a space that doesn't have a trade-off risk of exposure. Most high-intensity training facilities have a low client volume. Some of them are uniquely one-on-one. -on -one. Others limit the number of people that can be back that are well within the constraints of safety in regard to the COVID-19 pandemic. Further, if there are facilities that you were affiliated with that are currently closed down due to governmental policy, many of those facilities are providing online instruction that I would highly encourage you to avail yourself of. So if you have a HIP facility in your area that you can go to that's open, that's optimal. If not, you can avail yourself of online instruction of any HIT facility across the country in order to keep this important health measure going in your life. This is one of the choices that you can make as an individual. 
that will really have an impact on how the COVID-19 pandemic affects you. Always remember that how things move as a society are all based on individual choices and the choices that you make really matter. If you want to take a deeper dive into this topic or any of the topics that I'm discussing, please consider scheduling a consult with me at drmcguff.com. That's D-R-M-C-G-U-F-F.com. Thanks for listening.